sports. It's in the game.
Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. My name is Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And we have pre-season group stage action from the European International Cup coming up for you. It's Paris FC facing Brundby. Yeah, first game of their pre-season. Time to dust off those cobwebs and start getting the fitness back, Derek. Wouldn't be surprised to see the manager give some of the young players a ride out too. There's definitely a few on the cusp of breaking into the first team. So we can check on the starting lineup. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Firing it towards goal. Whatever it takes to keep them out. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And scope for the cross. A go well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Well, we're sorry for interrupting you there, Alan. Just to clarify for you, the home side finding the net in that game. And they now hold a 1-0 lead. He's lost it. Martin happy to take on the shot keeper's contribution but what next much more straightforward for the keeper this time but previously he had work to do well double bubble he gets the ball in the end but the first save he makes absolutely brilliant and the emphasis is on creativity a chance to whip it in. No worries for the keeper. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a goal for the home team. 23 minutes played. 1-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. And that was a very fine read. Something to worry about here. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Can they get in behind them? And crossed in the direction of the back post. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Opportunity to take the lead. Can't miss, surely. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Nielsen. Well, as you can see from the possession, there's little between these two teams. It's been a real tight, cagey affair. You just hope it opens up a little that one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. I understand there's been a goal in the Pescara game. Alan McAnally can give us details. Alan. It's a goal for Pescara. 35 minutes played. 1-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Read it superbly to take back possession. say this looks promising might be a chance here it has to be and it is the opening goal of the contest well it was always going to be a tight game but now all of a sudden one team ahead things have got to change on both sides well here it is again you're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions and never in any real doubt he finished that cool and composed
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. They've won back possession. And with that, the first half draws to a close. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, he'll get an extra sugar in his tea from the coach at half-time after that great first-half performance. Still touch and go in the second half with only a one-goal lead, though. I must say, this looks promising. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Just not looking confident in possession. Abdi. It is a decent looking attack here. A decisive clearance it was. Decided to come in from the flank. Whatever it takes to keep them out. And over comes the corner. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Corner kick played over. And a half-baked clearance. And clears his lines. Conte. Nomen Janahari. Here's Petroipa now. Just cutting off the supply. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Substitution time it is. Nomen Janahari. Mukhtar. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a second goal for the home team. 58 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Good visualisation and execution. Cross blocked. And a throw-in it's going to be. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Abdi. Well, they have the ball once more. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Fruitful looking attack. Danger averted for now. Give it away. Options in the center. And the decision is one of offside here. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. And that's an important intervention. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Not messing around with that clearance. Can't miss, surely! An attempt like that, never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got positioning right, but it was a poor shot in the end. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a second goal for the home team. 
75 minutes played. 2 1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. An attack full of promise. Well, visionary passing. And he's fired it against the post. And cleared away. Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. We're still going, Derek. This is going to go right to the end. If that goes in, it's game over. Poor pass under no real pressure. Moving into the advanced position. Just drifted into the illegal position. Offside, in the opinion of the officials. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Not what he was intending, bad pass. He has teammates to play it to. Hani Mukhtar. Well, the cross goes in, but there's no one available to snap onto it. An easy meet for the keeper, given that cross. Not much time to make up his mind. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. They've regained possession. Here's Tibling. Hani Mukhtar. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. And the referee blows for full time. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. say this looks promising might be a chance here it has to be and it is the opening goal of the contest well it was always going to be a tight game but now all of a sudden one team
Hi, everybody. A lovely day for football here. Welcome to you. Martin Tyler here to call the action for you, along with my good friend Alan Smith. We're in pre-season tournament action for you. It's a second group stage game. Absolutely looking forward to this one. Looking forward to seeing some of the younger players in these two squads. The manager's giving them a run out as they try different shapes, formations. I uh, don't think this referee's going to let too much go, certainly not in the early minute. He's given the free kick. Well, that's going to be the first booking, isn't it, of the match, Alan? Well, early on in matches, quite often referees, they don't like to book players, but this ref had no hesitation. Here's Roberts. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Cuts it out nicely. Giving the ball away now. They can be quick on the break now. Well, plenty of speed, but not much organisation. And the ball lost at a crucial time. Well, they're getting the ball forward. They need to do that. Well, now they can attack, and he's got support with it. And he went to win the ball, but the result is a throw. Plenty of space out wide, and they're going to use it. Well, space to get the cross in. Goal news from... It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Good defending. Dealt with a decent cross. No way through for the shot. Blocked. Well, apologies for interrupting Alan McAnally there. I want to confirm for you what Alan told us, that the home team have scored. They are winning 1-0. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. He's made the interception. Hit it well! He's done well to block that. Now he's got the ball. What's he going to do with it? Attacking now. Probing the pass. And the cross goes towards the far post. It cuts out off the goalkeeper. He can't keep it on the pitch, it's gone out for a throw. Chance to get the ball in the box. It's not a cross that's caused the defence any problems, and certainly not the goalkeeper. What's the keeper doing here? Goalless, possession fairly equal. Just need one of these teams to take a bit of a chance, a bit of a gamble, commit one or two more men forward in the uh, hope of getting a goal. Read that well with the interception. Trying to find an opportunity. Good defensive clearance there. Shot off! No difficulty for the goalkeeper. Out 
to a wide man who's got room. Murphy has blown and he's given the free kick. This lad tends to put a bit of whip on these three kicks. Needs it here. And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. It is level at half-time. We did think it was going to be tight, Alan. We're not always right, but this time we were. Yes. Free just checking everything is in order and he blows for the second half to start. It's a good example of treading it through. Well, the assistant has flagged straight away for the offside. Well, he's a quick runner, this boy, and if he just delays it for a second, you'd still get in. You've got to admire these linesmen, they don't get too many of these decisions wrong. We can go to Alan McAnally now for news of a goal from elsewhere. It's a second goal for the home team. 50 minutes played. 2-0. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. Read the intentions. Taking on a couple of opponents now. Gets that wrong and he's in trouble, but he got it absolutely right. Break quickly when they get possession. Won it back with an interception. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. He's got it away. Action on the benches. Both teams are going to make a substitution. We see so often the impact of substitutes. We're going to see a substitution here. Maybe he'll cross it here. Push back out into play. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. Jonathan Petroipa. That's a great interception. That is a tackle and a half. Well, they want to play from the back, and he's doing just that. Intercepted well. Time ticking on, just over 15 minutes to go. Coming really deep as a forward to get on the ball. His teammates really telling him to get up the pitch. Shreds it through. Goal news from Pescara. It's a second goal for Pescara. 78 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. This is going to go right down to the wire. The supporters, they've drawn breath really and they're ready to go. It's as if they've got a second win with the noise levels going up. Yeah, they really are pumping it up in the hope that their players can respond in a way that they've been a bit flat today, so they need to produce something better. He 
he's not let his concentration dip late into this game with that interception. Keeps his team very much in the game. The score's still level. And they're trying to dispossess him. Three minutes. That's all that's left now. Two minutes of added time. That's what it says on the board. That's another turnover here. Find a whistle. And it's finished level here. Well, an excellent game of football. Both teams really producing their A game. And it went right to the last kick of the ball. Yeah, thoroughly entertaining that. Both teams contributed majorly to... Really entertaining draw.